Yemen's Ansar Allah are unrelenting in their fight against the Saudi-led coalition. The fighting in Yemen shows no promise of stopping anytime soon, and in many locations it is a constant swing of back and forth. On April 1st, Ansar Allah, also known as the Houthis, claimed that they had launched four suicide drones aimed at sensitive and important sites in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. Houthi spokesman Brigadier General Yahya Sari said that the operation had been successful, all targets had been struck, and no other details were provided. Not all such raids result in success, as a video was shared of a Saudi F-15 shooting down a Houthi Kasef 2K drone. A few days earlier, 18 drones and 8 missiles of Ansar Allah attacked targets in Ras Hanura, Yabia, Yambu and Jazan, Azir, Nadran, as well as King Abdulaziz Air Base. This was their way of commemorating six years of war with the kingdom. On the other side, Riyadh carried out at least 15 airstrikes on various targets where the Houthi forces are currently concentrated. The Saudis were also behind at least 175 ceasefire violations in Al Hudaydah. On the ground, clashes continue in the Yemeni, Madgal, and Hefran districts. On March 31st, the Houthis captured Idat al Ra, Dash al Hakrin, and Hamat al Diab, west of Marib. Elsewhere in the Middle East, the Damascus government continues its operations to contain ISIS in the Syrian central region. On April 1st, the Syrian Arab army kicked off a large scale combing operation in the southern and western Derazor countryside. The government forces are combing the outskirts of the town of al mayadeen from the area of Al-Banja all the way to the area of Faida ibn Muina. They are being supported by the Russian Aerospace Forces. On March 31st, Damascus deployed large reinforcements in Derazor to counter ISIS cells in the government, mainly near the border with Iraq. 